could we not have just like buried him? Because like this is kind of a basic ass shot of just his like fucking ashes. Like imagine we bury him, we have a grave. Start it starts off with like a low tilt towards that and we just like shut up. Alright then. Is this the 17th of February, 2024? Uh, yeah, but, uh... Who the fuck are you? I'm Nigel, from a bullshit alternate timeline where Saul Goodman killed everyone except me. Holy shit, it's just like Dragon Ball Z. Stop moving like that, you're fucking up the audio. Fuck your audio. Now, where were we? <laughs> Hello, welcome, Booth and Morgan, not bonjour, I hate the French. You have tuned into the Blazy Boy 3rd Anniversary Special, slash 2023 retrospective kind of thing, I don't know what to fully call it, and I haven't practiced the script so I'm just reading it off my computer yet again. Whatever it is, the broadcast you've been watching has been interrupted for me to just spout some nonsense about updates going forward. I don't like that we're in 2024 now, take me back like around 5 or so years. So this update thing is going to be split into two segments, one talking about 2023 in the past year and stuff, and going into 2024, what's going to be coming, what's new, I don't know. 2023 was easily my biggest year, hitting 1000 subscribers, take a guess which video was responsible. But even more than that, the videos I've made this year, I believe, are some of my best. While I had made numerous review type videos beforehand, this year is when I decided to focus in on that, and all the Blazy Boy vids this year have been of that style, and honestly, I think these videos are miles better than like talking about the Gacha fandom or explaining the Sonic timeline. This year I reviewed 8 games, that's 8 right? Yes, that is 8. This year I reviewed 8 games, World Boss, Better Call Soul Kart, Deep Rock Galactic, the 4 Roblox games, and Among Us. Some videos I feel like I could have done better than others. For instance, I could have not had the Roblox variety round, half of it be like random rumble footage. But there's no use focusing on that now, you gotta, you gotta stay focused on the Venom now, the present, the future, I don't fucking know. Stop listening to me, I don't... I'm not a philosopher for her. And of course this year I made the short film, The Student Film, which was a school project that I uploaded to YouTube. This was inspired by student film tropes and stuff like an unclear narrative, continuity errors, abrupt tone changes, and I think it came out alright. Big shout out to the man Tomska, whose hatred of student films also served as inspiration. And of course, The Return of Soul Goodman, the Halloween special for this year. While better than last year's late, that wasn't very good. The nondescript area of rural Victoria I live in got flooded in late September, early October, and thus I had to rush the production of all this to get it out on the day. Along with changing the ending part because I thought the original ending was shit, I go into more detail on this on my second channel, and whoops, it's the obligatory plug for the second channel. Go watch it, you fucks, nobody does. Uh, uh, the fuck? Exactly. So we're just in some simulated reality. Well, an alternate version of me makes videos at our expense. I was just as surprised as you were. Does he know that he put us all here and killed Nigel for the sake of content? Not yet. You were supposed to discover this on September 16th, 2025, by which time he would have killed all of you. Wait, did that happen in your reality? No, I just jumped further in the future before coming here. Now, I've got a plan to stop this imposter, but before we do, you have to know, his identity is none other. Now hopefully this mini section won't last too long because I don't like to talk about my personal life. But it, 2023 had some like big, big personal moments. Uh, I got a job working for nondescript retail brand, so I earn, you know, the money, the money. Not gonna leak who I work for or in case they're watching. Uh, I also got a new microphone. I'm not recording anything with it right now because I still need to fix some settings. And I got a new camera. It's it's in the cupboard. I'm not using it right now because I can't be fucked to set it up. Yeah, that's all I want to talk about with my life, but um, I'm going into my final year year of high school, so uh, maybe next year's special will have something more interesting, I don't know. What the fuck? Aha! Uh -huh. Fucking shit! How did you escape? That just a bit of a good old bullshit plot convenience. Damn it, I hate that shit. And I'm here to stop you and take back my place over me, or should I say...
Oh, you time traveling bastard. How did you find out? Traveling further in time. That is dumb as shit. And hey, you know what's even dumber? Hi, sorry, me, future Nigel here, just one last time. So apparently, uh, there was supposed to be a fight scene here, or something, between uh, Mirror Axel and Regular Axel, but uh, uh, given by the date I'm recording this, 14th of February, and given how I have to work pretty much the next two days, there's no time to film, like, a battle scene or something. Uh, so that's great, isn't it? So, just imagine, uh, there's, I'm gonna describe what's in the script that's present Axel, or the main Axel wrote. Let me find it quickly. So apparently we were supposed to have an epic fight. It looked like Mirror Axel was about to win, but right at the last second, Axel, di uh, Axel distracts him. I don't know what accent I'm even trying to do anymore. So Axel distracts him, and then Craig the cameraman, donk, knocks Mirror Axel out. If you don't remember Craig the cameraman, uh, here's what he looks like, but uh, you missed it. You missed it. It was only on for a few seconds. I've talked too much now. Let's get back to the present. Well, wasn't that something? Uh, I have no idea what Mirami was doing the whole time. Let me let me check these notes. Uh, he wrote down on a receipt, definitely. <laughs> I need to get props ready for next time I film. Ah, the future, 2024. I have a few videos planned for this year in various stages of production. I would like I would like to revisit World Boss this year and see if any substantial changes have happened to it. And who knows, I might be able to record footage this time. A video I was working on last time was covering the game World Box. I really like games with the word world in the title, don't I? This was supposed to go in between the Better Call Soul video and the Deep Rock Collective video, but due to a general lack of interest in the project and the footage corrupting, uh, I dropped it. I might pick it back up in the new year, but no guarantees. Another video I'm in the very early stages of production, I guess, uh, was the game Rogue 96, a fantastic game with a phenomenal story characters. I was writing the script, but you see, I've hit a roadblock. If you haven't noticed, my videos are like very short, ten, eight to ten minutes short, and a uh, very quick pace. This is partially due to my script writing process, uh, and struggling to expand in great detail my points. Sound like a fucking something English essay at school, I don't know. And it's this reason I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to give the game the justice it deserves. But I will find time to work on this video. I'm going into my final year, as we've been through before, so I have to focus on that a lot. And also the job and nondescript, nondescript retail brand that keeps me working on videos, videos a lot. I was literally working today as I filmed this, and it was uh, kind of me. But now that I've, I've gone on off topic enough, uh, that's the end of the three years of Lazy Boy special. And we can look forward to this year being pretty much the same as last of those considered. I don't know. Uh, please check out the second channel. I, I occasionally put stuff on there. Uh, and I'm gonna go figure out how to unfreeze Ivan and Alex, because um, future Nigel just kind of left. I, I don't know where he went. He might come back, who knows.